Greetings, welcome again to my YouTube channel, where I stream, make 2D animation, and time lapse of my artwork process. For this video, I'm working on Akashi and Asmori. Akashi and Asmori are mates and co-leaders of the Fender Pack in Sylvana. Akashi is male and shifts into a large black wolf. Asmori is NB and shifts into a large white wolf. They meet Lily and her boys in the Alvertine Axiom, Annihilation 2 and become extended found family. They play an integral role in Annihilation 3 as well. Thank you so much for the one commissioned me for this piece, Jessica Moon of Shadow Spark Publishing. It's an honor to be drawn them on my art style. Rough sketch. So here's the start of the process, the sketching phase. This stage of the process is where I figure everything out like compositions, poses, background sketches, and proportions. This is the most important process for me because this will be the base of all the other things on my workflow. I usually work on it on hours to make sure everything sits right on the composition. For character sketch, I always draw them without anything on first before I put something on top. This will help me draw the clothes, hair and other stuff. These make an awesome guide, trust me haha. Once the body or the base is drawn, you can easily to put stuff on top, could be weapons, accessories, and etc. I usually don't delete the sketch layers, so I can go back and check once needed, but you don't have to, too many layers are not good, they will take a lot of space and you can be easily confused and lost. After the rough sketch is done, I'll proceed to the line art. At this stage, I do the clean lines and have them more defined. This process might be easy if the lines on sketch are good and clear. If you understand what things you put on the sketch, that works as well. In my case, it will be hard for me to work on the line art if I can't understand the sketch I made. I use varieties of line weights on my line art. Having different thick and thin lines will make it clear and easier to understand the drawing. Usually the thickest are the ones on the outlines and the thins are the details inside the thick lines. The next is the flats or the base colors. This part is one of my favorite. Once the line art is done, you just have to fill up the parts and voila. It's the background linear. At this point, I outline the sketch that I made on the rough sketch, adding the vines and stones. I made some adjustments though on the spring and added more bigger rocks. For me this is the chill part of my workflow, because there's not a lot of brain cell working on my head at this stage, unlike the rough sketch and line art where you have to think throughly which takes a ton of energy, I always separate the colors and layers so that I can change it in any stage. It's really helpful because they will surely change a lot once I put shading, and the lights. I added the flowers at the top in here for additional spice and colors on the piece. On backgrounds, I found painting it as the base and adding the linear after works really good. In here I'm working on the background of the background. I'm trying to capture the massive trees by adding elements that makes the trees look big. I also play a lot on saturation here to show the depth of the scene. Oh, we're at the shading stage. This part is where I figure the black and white values. This will give a 2D drawing a 3D illusion. I used many tutorials on shading but I think Mark Brunett's version helps me a ton. He also have a lot of helpful tutorials, you can check him out he's awesome. Light process, almost done. I usually work on the lights after I finish the shading and tints, this makes the lights easier to see and apply. I use the app Posit for the light references. This app is really helpful when I can't find the exact light position I want for the artwork that I'm working on.
In this stage, I put some of the details like the eyes, blush, and some colors that gives the character more saturated and vibrant look. Oh, the final part of the process. From here I put all the final details such as fog, light reflections, effects, and clean things up. I usually make a layer for this to overpaint and adding them on top. I still don't merge layers at this point, so I can put them anywhere, whether it's on the foreground or background. Once all the process are done, I can now merge them and do further color adjustments and finalizing the piece. I hope you don't wait long enough so without further ado, here's the final artwork of Akashi and Asmori. A huge thanks to Jessica Moon of the Shadow Spark Publishing for working with me on this piece. I had so much fun drawing Akashi, Asmori, and the background scene which is really awesome. If you like the video you may give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. It will help the channel a lot and I will really appreciate it. You may also follow me on my social media where I post all of my recent artworks. The links are on the description below. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.